What's up YouTube? My name is Clickwit and I am back again today bringing you guys a new video from my head-to-head -head season series and this time we are in week five of season two and we're going to be trying to make it five and oh which would bring us one step closer to that playoff berth. We're only two wins away from getting there and given all the rage quits that I've seen this year I think that there's a pretty good chance that we're going to be making another appearance in the playoffs and hopefully this time I don't choke it away like I did before. But let's take a look at my opponent's lineup. Man, Randall Cunningham right off the bat. Or Marshawn Lynch. Nice receivers here. Demarius Thomas. Greg Olson. Oh, man. Pretty good offensive line, too. I mean, not the best I've ever played, but a pretty dang good team overall. Uh, a lot of mid-90s, a lot of high 90s. Not a lot of weaknesses in this team. Pretty similar style-wise to my team, actually, uh, where he doesn't have a ton of the high-value players, but... A bunch of pretty good players so here we go first play of the game on offense and you know that outside zone's coming you know it's coming if you've been watching my videos this guy has apparently hasn't been watching my videos so he's gonna get hit for 54 yards on the first play of the game second play we're gonna fake it and we're gonna go with a play action pass out of the backfield to Vernon Davis he catches the ball and then the next play Chris Johnson walks into the end zone we go up six nothing very quickly not much of a problem there on that first drive now we're on defense. He pitches it to the outside, and Deion Sanders wraps him up. Marshawn Lynch gets tackled by Deion. Man, who says Deion can't make tackles? I think that I think that his tackling statistic is underrated in this game. Second play, though, he goes right over the top to Alshon Jeffrey, and Altron Werner just cannot keep up. He actually scores in two plays, whereas it took me three. Back on offense now, and it's QB Walter, and he's going to say bye-bye. You want to try and take me out with two plays? Oh, man, no way. I'm going to go with one play for the TD. QB Walter dives into the end zone. Beautiful. Puts us up 14-7. And now it's time for us to play some defense. I didn't do so well on the first drive. I allowed that long touchdown pass. But this time, he's going to try and go underneath. He's going to do some more dink and dunk type passes. Try and run the ball a little bit. But again, Marshawn Lynch just not able to break tackles. And, it, you know, that's one of the things that I kind of find to be a really overrated thing in this game is when people try to use their, you know, their breaking tackles with their running backs. Well, guess what? If you don't get touched, that's the better way to go. If you don't get touched, you don't need to break any tackles. So that's why I use CJ2K, and that's why I've been so successful with him. Look at this read option here. Devin McCourty, I played it well there. Whew, if I wouldn't have made that tackle, he could have gotten a huge gain there with Randall Cunningham. Thankfully, though, we made the play. Next play, a bomb down the field, and McCourty knocks it away. A near interception there. That could have been a big game changer. Either way, though, he ended up punting. We got the ball back. Let's try the outside zone again. It worked last time. Going to try and break it away. Yes, Chris Johnson with the spin move. That was delicious. A huge gain there on first down. Three rushes for 110 yards now. We go play action one more time. Trenton Holiday over the middle for a nice gain there. Another first down. We're at about the 17-yard line now. First and 10. We move Nate Washington in, in motion to get an extra blocker over there for the next read option. And QB Walter walks into the end zone again to put us up 21-7. Now, if you're watching... I am putting my defense in a defense that would stop the read option with the quarterback. So I'm making him, if he's going to try and beat me with the read option, he's not going to do it with his quarterback like I have been doing to him. He's going to have to hand it off to Marshawn Lynch. And although Marshawn is getting his short yardage here, I know that he's going to get bored. Eventually, he's going to want to make a big play, and eventually, he's going to make a mistake. And he goes deep. Oh, man, there it is, that big play. I knew it. I knew eventually he was going to go over the top. I played that poorly with my own safety. That was bad user skills, no question about it. Next play now, and the Alshon Jeffrey show continues as he gets another first down. 47 seconds left on the clock now, and he has to score, or otherwise he's going to be down two scores. He throws down the field, and grind time breaks it up. A big hit there, knocks the ball loose. He's going to go with the screen pass, or is he? Nope, he decided to fade route it, and Deion Sanders picks it off. We've got 38 seconds left before the half ends, and we're going to try and go up three scores here if we can. The read option's been working. Why not let it fly and go again? A huge gain here on first down. He did not see it coming. Our running game is on fire right now. We're going to move Nate Washington in motion again. Try and make him think that we're going to go with the read option again like we did last time. But actually, it's going to be the screen pass. Chris Johnson's got blockers. He's got blockers. He picks up another first down. 
We call a timeout. There's 24 seconds left in the half now. Now let's move Donald Penn in motion here. Try and get him confused. Try and make him not know exactly what we're going to do. Yup, it's the read option again. Donald Penn makes one block. Couldn't get to the second guy, and we only gained three that time. Chris Johnson now off the left side, and I should have stepped out of bounds here, but I didn't, and that was a dumb decision because I had to use my last timeout. I end up going play action here to try and get a big gain. Couldn't find anything down the field and decided to just throw it away. Four seconds left. We're just going to take that field goal. I'll take the 17-point lead going into the half. Not a problem with that. I love it. Coming out of the half now, my opponent's on offense. He has to put up some points on this drive. He's down 17, and he absolutely cannot afford to go down further. Gets it over the top this time to Demarius Thomas. Oh, man, that Dion press. I mean, Dion is so good in just pure coverage, but when it comes to pressing, he just gets abused by some of these receivers. Second and 13 now, and here comes the Cavalry. We're going to get loose here with three guys sprinting at Randall Cunningham. He turns around and just bombs it out of bounds. I have no idea how that's not intentional grounding. I mean, this game's mechanics are just crazy. Next play, it's third and 13. He's going to test Deion Sanders again, and Deion this time is going to win it. He gets the interception there. A nice, it's going to call it a user pick. It wasn't really a user pick. I just clicked in and pressed triangle. I'm not even going to lie. Back on offense now, and it's time to run out some clock. I know that the game isn't over yet. I know that I've still got to score some more points if I want to try and win this thing. But I also know that if my opponent doesn't have much time left when he gets the ball, that he's going to have to score really, really fast. And he's also still going to have to stop my offense, which he hasn't proven that he can do at all yet. So we're going to try and run the ball here. It is Chris Johnson again off the outside. The outside zone is just such an epic play. He just could not stop it. And eventually he decided that he had had enough. He taps out. We're going to get the win here. And we are now 5-0, oh, one win away from an automatic playoff berth. And guys, I'm really happy about it. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling confident. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure that you press that like button. If you could comment, I would greatly appreciate that. And of course, if you could subscribe to my channel, that would be amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.